we evaluate somebody for, for cosmetic or aesthetic eyelid surgery, the first question that needs to be answered to me is how appropriate is it for the patient. I tell patients all the time, nobody needs aesthetic surgery. Aesthetic surgery is purely for the patient's looks. And some patients just don't need it, pure and simple. So the first thing to look at is, will the patient benefit from the surgery? Is there a tangible improvement that they can gain from the surgery? If there is something that can be done to address the patient's concerns, and it's also very important to hear what the patient has to say. I have to listen to what, it, what, is, what are the patient's concerns? Because what I might see on my clinical exam and what they may think their individual issue is may be completely different things. So it's, communication is by far and away the most important thing throughout the entire process, both pre, intra, and post-operatively. When I give lectures about this stuff, which I do with some frequency, I always point out this is not just a trip to the salon. It's not in and out, you know, five minutes lunchtime stuff. It's, it's, it's real, and it's important for patients to understand that. Um, I'm the kind of person who always makes it sound, maybe in my discussion with patients, like a little worse maybe than it might really turn, turn out to be, but I'd rather you have a realistic approach going into the operating room with me of knowing what the possibilities are instead of uh, giving you the, the rosy, you know, kind of this is the best case scenario kind of way because I'm realistic and I want them to be realistic.